Hey, what is up, guys? Dragon Noodles here, back from the dead. We're doing some live dueling book duels. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna be live commentating over some of these duels, and uh, so no idea what these guys are playing. <laughs> Waboku, okay. Uh, so he played Car Card D before he played Waboku. Turned it over to him. Use MST set three and turned it back over. So let's see what happens from here. Oh, looks like Dratini can't do anything. So he's gonna turn it over. Okay, we got a Master Dragon being played. A Battle Fader, okay. <laughs> this is kind of a, this is a weird game. What the fuck is this? This is a weird game. Okay, so. Got the battle fader. All right, I still don't know what kind of decks these guys are playing. We got a duality. Got Sangan. I can't see what the other two are, but I'm assuming that he's gonna pick Sangan. Uh, it just seems the most likely. I can't even say the most likely. I don't. I don't. I don't want the other two. I don't know what the other two are. So he wants two of them. Sadly, you can only get one, my friend. Sadly, sadly. Alright, so let's see what he picks. Let's see what he picks. So why is he playing Mass Dragon? What is he playing? What are these guys playing? This is some this is some weird stuff. I've never seen some I've never seen Mass Dragon being played like just randomly. Okay, so he has a dark factory in there. So I'm guessing he's playing some type of normal base deck uh, involving Sangan. So that kind of sounds like a good plan. Oh, he's playing Exodia. Okay. He's playing the new Exodia. New word. Because I'm pretty sure we already got these cards in the TCG already. Like a couple months ago, actually, uh, it was in one of the. Uh, I think it was in the movie pack. Actually, actually, no, it wasn't the movie pack. I think it might have been in one of the uh, flashback packs or whatever, whatever they call them, whatever. So he sets one and ends his turn. So what is? Sutterin gonna do Arm Dragon level 3. This looks like a starter deck. And we got level up. Honestly, I wish I wish levels had more support. That's such a cool concept. That's the next deck I want to see some support for. Other than you know Amazonas, because Amazonas is like it's so cool and I'm glad they're getting more support. I feel like they're going to be like godly once they get all their support. Alright. So he uses Call to bring back Mass Dragon level 3. Well, Arm Dragon level 3. I'm going to attack with Arm Dragon level 5. Get that Battle Fader out of the way. Attack that Sangan. And Sangan's effect is going to activate. So he's going to get one monster. With 1500 or less attack from the deck, add it to the hand. So let's see what he gets. Probably an Exodia piece, because that makes sense. <laughs> uh, oh man. Exodia pieces are the last five cards in this deck. Wow. Good thing he got that, uh, that shuffle there. All right, so he's going in for four, 1,400 damage. Level five's effect is gonna activate. He's gonna special summon a level seven. So let's see what Dratini does here. Honestly, with the stuff that he's playing, I don't, I don't really see any outs, unless he has like Raigeki. 
he can just wipe the field. Uh, but he's gonna have to stall until he gets Exodia. Not even Exodia, like the big one. I think you need to use the pieces and get them in the grave, but I'm not certain. So let's see what he does. I'm assuming that he means he keeps drawing the Exodia pieces and he doesn't want to draw the Exodia pieces. I'm not sure what he means, but I feel like a, a majority of his deck is like stall cards. He's going to do math to see if he has enough left in his deck. Okay. This is sort of this is a really, really weird matchup. It's really weird. needs one more in his deck okay once again this is a really weird matchup now he, i wouldn't even call this a matchup this is just a weird game in general we got this guy using exodia and we got this guy using levels all stuff that's just like dead right now uh I'm eager to see what's gonna happen happen after that uh, ban list, that emergency ban list. So he sets one, passes it over, sets her, and is gonna go to his main phase one. And he's gonna upgrade his level three to level five. He's gonna call to get level three back. Oh, level seven back. Oh, excuse me, level 5. Yeah, he's probably going to win this. <laughs> Alright. I don't know why even side in this. Like, what would you even do? How do you even have a side deck in Exodia or, or, or levels? I just don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand how you, how you can have, like, anything in, in there. So let's see what is going to go on now. Who's first and who's second? Okay, so Saturan is going to be first and Dratini will be second. Okay, he was looking for the Ties of Brethren. Okay. Smart thing to use in that type of deck. Hand destruction. Yo, this really looks like a fucking structure deck. Dimensional prison. I haven't seen that in a while, actually. This really looks like a structure deck. Reckless greed. Okay. Level modulation. Honestly, I forget levels exist sometimes. They just have like no support. No support at all. Like They came out and it's just like, okay, here's here's all your stuff. Uh, go do something with it. You can never do anything with it. And he's going to use level up for his level 7. And goes into level 10. First turn, this is like ridiculous. I'm pretty sure Dratini has like nothing to do right here. <laughs> but I'm assuming that he has Battle Fader or something like that <laughs> just to stall for a good minute. So he sets one, two, three. <laughs> uh, duality. I think that was an Exodia piece in there, yep. And Sangin and Wopoku are going back to the deck, getting shuffled. Car Car D, okay. I'm assuming that he won't negate this. I feel like that's just useless. 
just doing anything about it. Okay, so Car Car D goes through, grabs two from his deck, and ends his turn. I'm curious what these three face downs are. Uh, Sutteran sets a face down and ends his turn. No attack. I guess he wants to be safe. All right, so Dratini goes into his main phase one. We'll see what he pulls up. Summons an exotic piece, okay. Ties of Brethren, makes sense. So he's gonna bring out two more exotic pieces. Okay, so let's see what he does now. Foolish, okay, so he's gonna have a exotic piece in his grave, I'm assuming. Or he can put that Sangan in his grave. That works too. Okay, he goes for the exotic piece. Alright, so what is he gonna do now? He's gonna end his turn. Oh god, with that right arm. Face uh, oh, he goes for a hand destruction, okay. Discards Car Car D and Battle Fader. Oh, ah, I don't know about that. <laughs> Sutteran discards his level five and I think his level seven. They both draw two. Level ten gets his effect. Destroys all his exotic pieces. I'm assuming that's what he want it he goes for waboku oh dark bribe oh my gosh i have not seen that in a while so he goes for a reckless greed i'm assuming he wants to get some cards in his hand so he'll be able to do something since he'll be taking this damage Uh, there you go, 3,000 left. So let's see if Dratini can do anything here. Of course, he can't draw. So he goes for two face down. Summons the Exodia hit. And goes for Exodia Incarnate. So that's gonna have 4,000 attack, I believe. Goes, sets her and goes for a call. Gets the level five. I think that's the only good thing about levels is that they don't have restrictions about being special summoned. Uh, at least I don't think Arm Dragon does. <clears throat> Okay, so Exodia Incarnate is down to 3,000 now. So let's see what happens next. Pass it over to Sutteran. So he kind of has like two cards to rely on, which is his face down and the card in his hand. Not sure what it is. So let's see what happens here. That Exodia card is still at 3,000. Arm Dragon level 5 only at 2,400. So if he can, can send his face up card to the graveyard. Up. He can't destroy a monster by battle this turn, so that, that effect's kind of useless. Alright, so he passes it over to Dratini. Dratini's going to summon the Exodia Head, and I think he's going to summon another Incarnate. Yep. So he's got two 4,000s on board. <laughs> I think this is game. Actually, no, it's not game. Unless he quits. 
you know. Oh, it's actually 5,000. So all five pieces are in there. All right, so Carnage's effect activates. He has to bring back one to his hand. Then another for the other one. So now they're both at 3,000. It would help if he put some counters up there. But, you know, it's whatever. Okay. That's all he has is his face down and the two cards in his hand. Oh, he, he, he can only set. He can only set. He might be able to get him out of it. You never know. You never know. Alright, so Jatini sets one and he's gonna of course attack. And that looks like game. Yep, that is game. Wow. Surprisingly this this Exodia stuff is it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Uh his variant was uh, pretty interesting. This duel was pretty interesting. Two completely random decks, like stuff you don't see every day. This is definitely stuff you don't see every day. All right. So that is all for this live commentary. Uh, be sure to let me know in the comments down below what you think of this duel in particular. Uh, let me know if you want to see more of this because I will definitely provide more. Be sure to like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. And I am signing out. Peace.